Hello, everybody, and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about The Flash, episode number 13, Attack on Gorilla City. This episode directed by um, Dermot Downs. And in this city, I mean, in this episode here, we have, we have Barry, we have um, Caitlin, we have Cisco, we have Julian, all going to pretty much Earth 2 to rescue the first, well, not the first, the not the original, but to rescue the other HOLs. He got trapped in the Gorilla City and he needed his help to help the, the, he needed his help to save his life. And because Jesse came over from Earth 2 and to talk to him saying, Hey, my dad's in trouble. I need your help. Can you get my dad? So you got Barry, you got Caitlin, you got Cisco, and you got Julian over in that world trying to rescue HR from all these highly intelligent gorillas. So that's going on over there. Then you had the love story between Wally and Jesse. Now, Wally and Jesse had a connection. Then Jesse got powers. And then Wally didn't get powers. But he wanted to get powers. But he was still in love with um. He was still in love with Jesse. Just a little bit jealous because he wanted powers too. Didn't happen. Okay then. But they still had a connection and they still were in love. Great. Now she's back. He thinking they're going to reconnect. And then he says, surprise, guess what, baby? I got powers, too. Come on, let's hug it. And, let's, and she's like, just, no, no. And she's like, what, 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 what happened? What happened? Now she has to give him the cold shoulder. He don't know what's going on. Is it because I got powers? Is it that you don't like me no more? What happened? So you got to tell you, so they got that dilemma right there. And that's pretty much it in the episode. Yeah. Because Iris and Joe were in it, but they didn't really pay too much of a big part, really. Not, they didn't have much of a big of a role. Mostly focused on the whole um, 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 Barry and, and his crew, and they focused on Wally and Jesse. Now, the person who stood out the most to me is um, Tom Cavanaugh. Because not only is he playing H.R. Wells from the up to Earth 2, but he's also playing the H.R. Wells from another world who's in this world now, too. So he's playing the same person, but two parts. And he also played a little bit of Gorilla Grodd. Because Gorilla Grodd was speaking to, speaking to him, to him. So he played like three roles in this picture right here. And I have to say, he is an amazing actor. This is because Washington keeps switching, he's switching his tone, the way he talks, his, his mannerisms, his his voice patterns, speeches and everything. It was just, it was just fun and amazing to watch. He's a, a great actor. And look at he's having fun on the show. And every time he's there, I, I'm enjoying it myself too. And special effects... I'm going to say the special effects are the best thing I've ever seen in my life. This is a TV show, but I I thought it was I thought, I thought the gorillas looked pretty good, and I like how they how they they put they, they changed Gorilla Grodd's episode right here. They changed his, his design and pretty much kept the same design for all the gorillas in this in this picture. I mean, the only person that was a little bit different was Salivar. He was just he just had white fur, but other than that, they pretty much had the same type of body type and same type of look and appearance. And but I, I actually did enjoy it. This was a um, fun episode. It, it was kind of creepy and, and, and emotional at times too. And enjoying the, the, watching the, the love story between um, Wally and Jesse, I enjoyed that. I think they make a cute couple. So overall, fun episode. Really did enjoy it. I highly recommend it. So check it out for yourself. Hopefully, when you watch it, you will enjoy have fun watching it too. And now, since something happened at the end of this episode that was really messed up, I don't want to say what it is. I don't want to say who was involved, because if you haven't seen it, I don't want to spoil it for you, but wow. Like, really? Because it seems like, see, now, I have watched a whole lot of time travel stuff from different TV shows, and there's one thing that seems to be constant. You cannot seem to change the future. You can't change it. No matter how hard you try to change it, the things you're doing may be the reason why it happened in the first place. Because, see, the end result is Iris is going to die. And they're trying to do everything in their power to stop this death from happening. But it seems like no matter what they do, no matter how hard they try to change directions, it still seems to be going that way, full steam ahead. And it seems like the reason why certain things are happening is because they're trying to change it. Now, this may be messed up to say, and this may be really, really messed up to say, but I think the only way they probably would have changed the future if they left HR in Gorilla City, they didn't. They didn't come for him. They just said, "Sorry, we can't help you. We can't help you, Jesse. Yes, I know as your father, and I know that you love him. 
But if we help your dad, it might make things worse. But the way the ending happened would have happened anyway. Oh, that's kind of messed up. You don't know. I mean, it's like they're, they're, like, it's like they're damned if they help them, and they're damned if they don't. Oh, so messed up. Decisions. Which one is the right one? You never know. Because the decision that you're making may be the reason why the bad thing happened. And the decision you don't make, that could still be the reason why the bad thing happened. So you know, just either way, you're still screwed. So you don't know which, one to, which way to go. Oh, wow. Time travel. It really messes you up. Because once you know the future, and the future is not good, would it matter what you do to try to change it? Is it going to happen anyway? Or could you possibly, could you change it? Who knows? Who knows? But again, like I said before, great episode. Really did enjoy it. Highly recommend it. I said, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, like I said before, you will enjoy it and you will have fun watching it too. Well, that's all I got to say about that. So give my channel the big old like, the thumbs up, mm, boom, and subscribe to my channel and share. I really appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out of April's baby. Mm -hmm.